Hey, New Life Church, this is Pastor Jake here. I'm glad to be with you guys again as we're following along in our track Bible reading plan. Uh, I am currently on vacation right now in the Dominican Republic, so that's why you see these beautiful palm trees back there. We're out with our family having a great time, but even on vacation, we still dig into the God's Word. And so we've been in Proverbs, and as Pastor Ron talked about uh, in the last video, Proverbs is a book... It appears to be written from like a father to a son or a, or a teacher or to a child. But that's because Proverbs was um, the wisdom book uh, of the Bible that was taught to children. It was taught to children because it lays a foundation uh, of wisdom. Uh, something that's important to remember is that Proverbs, this book, is not a book of promises. That might be a little challenging to hear, but it's not a book of promises. It's a it's a book of short, wise sayings to help kids. It's kind of like today when we teach our kids grammar, we teach them, you know, I before E except after C. And if anyone knows anything uh, when they're spelling, that actually doesn't work all the time. There's a lot of words where I does not become, be I is not before E after the letter C, you know? So it's not always necessarily a promise, but it is a foundational wise teaching to help students understand when spelling most most commonly the most common words are spelt this way and the same thing with proverbs you know proverbs will teach you short wise sayings a foundation for how to live that you'll find out later in life might not always be uh 100 but they're still the right way we should live uh in the way that god has commanded us and so the 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 uh a theme from proverbs that uh that is focused on all throughout the book is wisdom because this is a book of wisdom. This is a part of their wisdom literature. And in Hebrew, wisdom is chokmah. Uh, now, chokmah is a word that, yes, means wise, but it actually means a skill. It's a skill of how to live, how to live life. And so living life skillfully uh, is what's going to help you uh, navigate through the difficult times in life. And um, and so as we as we discuss chokmah, in, whenever I read through our week, you know, there's, there's always this this one proverb that always sticks out to me. And this is a proverb that is 100% true all of the time. And that is in Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3 says this, uh, verse 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not depend on your own understanding. And that is something that I struggle with. See, we live in a society, in a time, in a culture uh, especially the younger generations, as I as I pastor the the youth, we live in a uh, an upcoming generation that that uh, relies completely on knowledge and intelligence. You know, we uh, we Google everything. The internet is just at the fingertips, and, and we fact check everyone, and we use and we use um, intelligence and facts and knowledge to try to fight with people. And the truth is. The Bible says that we should not be relying on our own intelligence. We should not be relying on our, our own intelligence. Instead, it says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. And that's that can be difficult because sometimes God will do things that defies our intelligence. It doesn't make sense to us. And that's why we see passages in, in Isaiah where he where God reminds us, listen, as high as the heavens are, from you, from on earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. And we have to remember that. That's the absolute truth. When things do not make sense, we don't look to God and say, God, you're doing something wrong. We have to fall back on the truth that we do not rely on our own understanding and we trust in the Lord. Because how much more does the Lord know more than us, you know? It's like, I imagine uh, trying to teach an infant, a newborn, trigonometry. I didn't even make it to trigonometry. I have no idea what trigonometry is, I'll be honest. But now try to imagine teaching that to an infant. It, it wouldn't work. You have no idea. So you just have to trust that sometimes the Lord might know a little bit more than we do. And so when things don't make sense, when things might be a little difficult, when things might get rough, the thing that we do is we trust in the Lord with all of our heart and we don't depend on the things that we can understand. Because Jeremiah 17 says, man, cursed is the man who, who trusts in man's strength. For he's like a bush or a shrub that dries up and withers when the heat comes. But blessed, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. 
for when the heat comes, for whenever the difficult challenges come, they won't dry up because they're gonna be like a tree that's planted by water. They're gonna bear fruit in every season. So this week, I encourage you guys, go with this, go with this proverb, this wisdom that we trust in the Lord and we don't lean on our understanding. God bless you guys. I hope you have a good week.